Watch body got a deuce. What? Before we get started, I want to give a massive thank you to Blistic LP for an awesome intro. If you like it, let me know in the comments. Check out the description for a link to his channel. Hi, my name's Daddy and I play Boom Beach sometimes. And my main account is level 19, HQ19, and it's it's just done the normal way. Little Booming Dad is all on attack. Every single thing I've focused on attack. I've the uh, HQ's never been off the beach. I've never had more than the, the one sniper tower that you have to have to get. I want to show you just how powerful these little bases can be. So this one is two levels higher than me. I'm going with Rifleman and I'm going with Zooka because they're really quick to make and they're really brutal. So let's take out the rocket launcher first. We can take that one out. And there's a little tiny space between the rocket launcher and that building. So we can probably get a, um, uh, what are they called now, a missile between those two. Okay, let's get that out. The next highest target you have to um, destroy is going to be the mortar because the mortars can take out whole swathes of of um, zookas and the whole idea behind this is to keep your zookas well keep your riflemen alive as long as you can because once they're gone your zookas are totally defenseless the the idea is that the line of riflemen are like the decoys so they uh, you know they draw the fire and they're awesome up against things like boom mines because the boom mines are really slow to reload and they can only take out one at a time and you know I've got a ton of these uh, these little riflemen so I'm building I'm moving this line across so that it distracts the defences. So this this base is only two higher than my base. I don't I rarely raid anything that's lower than my base now with this this account because I'm so high in in VP. Let's see just how high we can go. So that's that one's two. Um, remember with Boom Beach, you don't get anything until you destroy that HQ. That's the most important thing. Uh, so having a good strategy, really important as well, of course. I mean, this is the, the obvious thing. It's really important to look really carefully before you attack. This is a level 39 resource base, which has got a ton of this, a ton of these um, mines. I know because I'd taken this one before and I, I'd made <laughs> put this base like this. So let's take out that mortar, get that one out of the way. The other mortar is pretty close to where I'm going to get my troops in, so I'm going to be shocking that mortar. Take out those um, those mines so that they don't. You know, destroy all my little ground troops. Ground troops, they're all ground in this game, there's no air troops at all. So let's try and get it in between those mines there. I'm going to be healing down there. I'm also going to be shocking that mortar when it just about gets to range. There we go. You can see them. the, the, the animation turns a little bit when it's, it's starting to lock on. And you really want to get it just before it turns. I know it's really hard, but you know, you, you've got to get it before it turns because once it turns, usually the flight time of the uh, of the missile, uh, of the shock, sorry, it's just uh, too long. There we go, this is looking good now. I just need to keep those riflemen alive from that uh, flamethrower. And then I'm going to draw them into the corner there where they're away from those snipers and the boom. And that's it. I'm I mean, really, just to save all my troops. Putting down a smoke allows you to focus your energy. So watch this. As soon as it comes out of smoke, they're all going to attack at the same time. That means the boom mine really can't lock on. So one two three there we go so i only lost three riflemen from the boom mine uh, from the boom cannon <laughs> from the boom cannon there there we go that that smoke on the troops thing is actually quite quite effective now this one is for, uh, level 40 i'm a level 34 six levels higher now so the hq is over there let's plan this out Okay, so rocket launchers first. This is a dual rocket launcher base. So I need to take out both of those rocket launcher before I can deploy any troops whatsoever. There we go. That one's a little bit stronger than the other one. So the other one I was going to do, take out with um, missiles. Unfortunately, it didn't take two. It took three. I always look for areas where you can take out two buildings at the same time because you get extra energy. Maybe you get two energy per building that you destroy. I don't trust these mines around here. So I'm just going to rock. I'm going to barrage this... Uh, this minefield here and I'm going to try and get the troops up the left corner there remember always go in from a side if you if you can avoid it don't go in direct through the middle unless you're using smoky warriors watch that mine there there we go we're gonna to have to put some heal down there just to take care of those troops um, also a great technique is to put heal at the point where they're all like grouping up so if you put a flare down and put a heel onto the flare or just before the flare, they're going to go into it and then out of it as well. So you get like a double effect. 
Okay, let's take out that, that mortar there. And now this is looking good, actually. I just want to get my troops out of the way of trouble. I'm using a little bit of smoke there to avoid that um, uh, that machine gun from, you know, sort of just wearing them down too much because I'm getting a little bit low on um, gunboat energy now. So I'm going to get them over the back. There's a ton of little houses and gold storages there that I can take out. So it all adds up. Let's flare them around to the back there. There's not an awful lot of defense around the back. Remember, the best form of def uh, best form of attack you've got is getting out of trouble, not taking things on head on. I see so many people just go rushing in, and they, uh, you know, all that happens is they just lose a load of troops, and the guy, <laughs> the guy gets a load of diamonds in return. So there we go. So I'm shocking that area there. It's probably a little bit misplaced, but I wanted to get, you know, because there were three defenses there. I'm trying to get four with the one shock. They were a little bit spaced far apart. Now we've got, this is looking good. Okay, we've got the line of um, riflemen. I'm, I've had a few rocket uh, zookas taken out, so I'm going to move them over to the side there. Try and bunch them up. Okay, I've got a hill there, so that hill can go down there. Right, this is looking excellent. I'm in the corner. There's no defences at the back. There's no defences on the right side. There's only defences a little bit below me. And there's, you know, there's only a few that can hit me. So I... I'm taking that out. There we go. Six levels ahead, ahead of me. It just shows you the power. Why? I'm just thinking, why on my main account did I waste all that time on defense? <laughs> all I needed to do was focus on attack because, you know, it's hard, I hardly win any defenses and I'm pretty much maxed out. So, guys, we have got seven levels higher than ourselves. That is absolutely insane. We're going to take out this really big high level rocket launcher. I mean, it's level 41. I'm seeing level 43s on my main account. And my main account's like, you know, HQ 19. So before I had been scouting this, I saw there were two big, um, like what are they called, boom mines there. If you look, sometimes people put boom mines just behind that sniper tower. It's really hard to see them. So it's really important that you, you know while you're scouting, just sort of tap the corner of the boom of the sniper tower, see if there's anything there. So pop a heel down, keep those rif uh, riflemen alive, and the zookas, just a line of zookas behind, they're just going to absolutely devastate those defences. The flamethrower down the bottom there is causing me some problems. So I'm going to move up to the top, pop a heel down so it can just quickly recover some, some health. Uh, there we go. So I'm taking out the corner there. I want to get these guys out of trouble because there's a ton of stuff in my way. But there's pretty much no defences up top. So I figured if I can work my way through these um, bushes at the top here, of course there's going to be some mines that he's left me. But if I can work my way through these um, bushes at the top here, I can come down on the top, uh, come down from from the north, and I probably can gain some uh, some gumbo energy from from being up here. So let's let's get them up the top. Uh, pop a heel up there. Remember that technique with a heel where they can all congregate round the heel and they come back down again, and it's just a doubly double benefit from heel. Uh, there we go. Okay, so let's just let them settle a little bit out of range of any defences, so we can take out that. Gunboat energy, plus two gunboat energy, take out another one, another two gunboat energy, probably do, probably get them, yeah, so let's get them onto that, uh, onto, onto that wood storage there, shock those, uh, sh certainly shock flamethrowers, flamethrowers are devastating, so flamethrowers and machine guns, don't take them out, but shock them while your troops are uh, attacking, because they really do cause an awful lot of trouble. This is going to be a total clutch raid, look at this, all I've got are zookas and one rifleman left. About 20% health on the HQ. Come on, come on, Zookas, you can do it. There we go. They're pretty, pretty high-level Zookas. I've been focusing on them. This is how you do an all-attack base. I hope you enjoyed it. There are some awesomely talented boomers who watch my channel. So if you got any advice for other people, leave it in the comments. That would be absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for watching. If you missed the sidekick raid, just click the link that's coming up. Thanks a lot. Take care and bye for now.